Hi, my name is Steve Heyman. I teach constitutional law here at Chicago Kent College of Law. Um, and I've been asked to tell you a little bit about the background to the um, case over Proposition 8 um, that the Supreme Court is going to hear later this spring. Um, the, uh, the case, um, which is called Hollingsworth against Perry, um, is only the latest chapter in an ongoing struggle over same-sex marriage in California. Um, in 2000, um, the voters of the state, um, through a ballot initiative, um, voted to reaffirm the traditional definition of marriage in California um, as a union of one man and one woman. Um, but three years later, the legislature passed something called the Domestic Partnership Act. Um, and that law um, created a, a, a category called domestic partners. Um, in other states, it might be called a civil union, um, which has all the same rights and responsibilities as marriage. The only difference is that the label marriage uh, is not applied to it. Um, and the following year, um, a, a lawsuit was brought by um, some same-sex couples, um, also by um, San Francisco, um, that argued that um, the, the, the combination of the, the 2000 initiative and the Domestic Partners Act um, had created a kind of second-class status for same-sex couples in California, um, and that this was a violation of the California state constitution. Um, in 2008, the California Supreme Court agreed, um, and they, they held that, um, that indeed um, California law did violate the state constitution um, by reserving marriage only for opposite-sex couples, um, and they ordered state officials to begin granting marriage licenses um, to gay and lesbian couples. Um, and under this decision, which was known as the marriage cases, uh, the state actually granted about 18,000 marriage licenses. And lots of people got married during the summer and the, uh, the early fall in 2008 in California. Um, and that's what led to, um, to Proposition 8. Um, after the California Supreme Court had declared that um, the state was not allowed to deny marriage um, to same-sex couples, um, a, a group of um, people who uh, believed that this was um, a violation of traditional ideas about marriage uh, brought <coughs> um, a, um, a petition to put on the ballot um, in November 2008 um, proposition 8. And, and Proposition 8, um, very straightforwardly, um, says that only marriage between a man and a woman is valid and recognized in California. And there was a very hot, hard-fought campaign over Proposition 8, and it ended up passing very narrowly by about 52 to 48 percent. And that's what led to the, the case that is now working its way up through the courts.